Sawtooth School for Visual Art is a community art school in Winston-Salem, North Carolina that offers many different disciplines in the arts programming. This year, Speedball had their conference here at Sawtooth School for Visual Art. We hosted them and they invited three artists, Susan Rostow from New York, Bill Fick from Durham, and Carlos Hernandez from Texas. So I've been working with Speedball for quite some time. I helped them develop some of the products and I've, uh, I've had a wonderful time working with them, consulting on some of the Speedball screen printing products. And I know they have been expanding. Uh, now they're using um, Bill Fick for his relief ink. Speedball had been developing these new relief inks, these professional relief inks, uh, and they had been talking to lots of different artists. And then I started working with them, on, you know, and we started focusing it down, and they, they started like saying, okay, Bill, can we work with you to, um, to promote and to get these in, in, inks out into the world? Uh, and to, you know, give us some feet, lots of feedback about what we're doing. Because I'm, as a, as an artist, I, I primarily, all I do is work with, with line of cut and relief. So it was a way for, uh, for them, for us to begin a focused relationship uh, and working with these inks, getting them into the hands of, of other folks. I started making my own inks in 1990. I was making them myself and it just got sort of out of hand. I, I couldn't keep up with people coming to me and asking if you know I would make ink for them as well. In 2011, uh, Speedball acquired Akua and I stayed on with Speedball as a consultant and I'm working on new formulations for new products. So we formed relationships, which has been really great, between Speedball Art Products and Sawtooth School for Visual Art. They've been very supportive and we've enjoyed using their products. And this was a perfect opportunity to come together and do these workshops. It was a one day workshop with each of the artists having their part and Bill and Bill Fick and Carlos Hernandez sharing the spot with their workshop mashup. And then Susan Rostow doing the one day workshop with students in the printmaking studio. In the viscosity monotype workshop, I am doing a process where one ink resists another ink. So the having two different inks of di two different viscosities, a lot of fun things start happening. And what I like about it is it, it brings the chemist out in me. So I'm teaching not only how to create prints, but also how to manipulate the ink to do special effects how you can modify the ink, change the ink. So I feel really home in you know, this type of situation. So the class I'm teaching today is called Mashup. Well, the process of the, the mashup process is basically a free for all in terms of uh, uh, working from a bunch of different screens. So Carlos brought a bunch of screens with images on them. And so what we'll do with those is that the, the, the people attending the workshop will print using those and they can be layering images upon images, sort of collaging images. One can lay uh, an image over another one. Another one can lay an image over another one and screen print it. And you have these uh, very, what I think are kind of contemporary results of all these layers of images on top of each other. There'd be a lot of printing going on, a lot of ink being slung around. 
And then in the afternoon, um, there will be this time where they have to just carve. They can't, you know, that, that, that's a slow process. So they have to carve. But what I'm going to ask them to do is to make uh, simple images, like things that could form patterns, that could form, that, that way they can work with those to build the, on top of the screen printed images that they're doing in the morning. So that, that'll be the, 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 the media mashup, bringing the, medium, the two media together to make that. I always have students that come in when we do this type of thing and they already think that they might already know what's going on, but they are very surprised towards the end. I see a smile crack on them, like, oh, like this is, they, when they first screen print something, they lift up the screen and they're like, oh, I get this now. I see what's happening. I see how all these images are coming together. It's, it's, it's cool.